Hey guys, welcome back. So I have a fun video that I'm gonna share. Um, right now we have our friend Kim and Jim Fissle, their Anglia is in the shop. So they came down yesterday, which was Thursday, and they're gonna be here till Sunday. And dad's gonna do a weekend paint job. So a couple years ago, two years ago, almost exactly two years ago, Jim was at a race um, at Tulsa Raceway and he hit the wall. And the majority of the car was okay, but there was a lot of body work that had to be done. He had to get a new front end. So over the last two years, he has taken the time, got a new front end, done the body work on it, um, and got it ready for paint. And then they brought it to dad. So they've been going back and forth with colors. Jim likes a more simple look and, you know, more toned down colors. Kim is all about a loud paint job um, and just loud in general. <laughs> so she wanted it to be purple and, you know, bright and flashy to kind of match like the gasser style. So they brought it to dad and dad sides with Kim. So they're coming up with a compromise to fit all three. So this is a fun paint job. It's going to be Laguna Blue. So it's got a really pretty base color, which I'm gonna show. And then it's got Candy Apple Blue on top of it. And then they're gonna do panel paint. So for those that don't know, it was it's a was popular paint. Um, so basically you tape off panels and you do different techniques um, on, on each panel. So like this car's gonna have uh, lace on some of it. They're gonna do different kinds of striping on some of it. They're gonna do like acetylene pop paint effects. So we'll show more of that later, but they are, they have the base coat on and they're striping it now. So there's lots and lots of masking um, cause you do one color and then you remask and you know, the majority of the time is spent masking. So um, I'm gonna show, cause I don't have the video footage from when Jim was doing the body work and all that because I wasn't there. So um, I'll show pictures of all that. I'll show Jim's wreck that led to this. And then I'll kind of show the process of what I can capture now and then show the final product. So it'll be fun. It'll be a fun paint job. Um. With Jim, if I ask him a question, it's probably gonna be a mile long answer. <laughs> so, Jim? Yes, ma'am. This is your video. Thank you. You're, thank you. <laughs> so, what are we getting ready to do right now? We're going to uh, apply the lace and then uh, do spray, one. spray through the lace to uh, leave so, the pattern. So, the this is the base color. It's, a, it's periwinkle, is that what we're calling it? <laughs> That's, your mother checked it, yes. It's peri, right now it's periwinkle. So the which, is, which is the base coat for the blue that it's gonna be. So, periwinkle base. So, um, they've got, they spent all morning masking, so lots and lots of masking. So, Dad is getting some paint ready for the lace part. So, explain how this works. We mask everything off. We're going to stretch lace over this. Tape it down. I'm going to take a gun and spray over that lace, and we're going to unmask it. Take the lace off, and you'll have that lace pattern. So it's got the periwinkle base, and then the lace will be covered with a light coat of black. So that way, it's got the dimension, and then it'll be covered with candy apple blue later, right? And metal flake. And metal flake. We're going to put some metal flake in it. So I'll have metal plate on top of the blue and the black and then, or the black and the periwinkle and then the blue will go over the top of that. So just for reference real quick, if you have seen Dad's Nova, you may or may not have noticed that it has a little bit of panel paint going on, but then up here uh, we do have the lace effect. So we actually, when he painted this, he used this pink lace and you stretch it out and lay it over that and then you spray your color over it. So this is similar to the effect, one of the effects that Jim's car will have, so. <laughs> the 
really won't take much paint. One to one. So the lace is literally nothing special. When we did this, um, we went to Walmart and picked out just a lace we liked and just cut it. And then for gems, they decided to get some new stuff, but literally just a lace at Walmart. So simple. Okay, so you have to get the lace tight, which is what he's doing right now. Pulling it tight, but keeping it straight. So it's got a straight pattern, but tight. So the paint doesn't get under the lace. that was the right length because they had to buy pre-bought lace so it took a little while to put the lace on because somewhere in here oh right here we had to cut the lace and make it match um a sh another piece to another piece but it worked out good so he's getting ready to spray it and then pull the lace off and then this part will be done Okay, so the lace has been sanded down and that's put, what was that called? Clear, co not clear, color blend? Color blender, it's just clear base coat. Clear base coat. And then now he's going back and uh, re-taping the sides. Pinstriping, I'll strike. Do you see something cool for your video? Sure. I'll just uh, twist it. Do you want to see a magic trick? Ooh, it just came to life. Oh no. Nice. It'll be wow. in there with clear. Look how pretty it is. Pretty. Look at these people go. One side. Woohoo. Are you anywhere close? To claim for the night, yes. Lots of stripes. Look at that. Mm. Mm. He's got a plan. Man with a plan. <clears throat> now only one more side. One more side to color and create it. Okay, so while we were gone, uh, we, we did an errand and then came back. So they got the whole car masked and this stripe in here. Um, they've added these little spiders, these little bubbles. And so um, this will all get co covered with candy blue, but right now he's getting ready to put some pearl, blue pearl over it. So just part of the steps. Okay, so on these bubbles, you've just been airbrushing and then the little spiders. The spiders and the bubbles are all off the same airbrush, same paint. We just held a circle up here and I airbrushed inside of them until I got the circle where I wanted it. And the spiders, or the coronavirus, he just hit the airbrush with paint and then let up on the paint and let the air blow and it goes. 
Nice. It just expands out. Nice. So we got small, medium, and large coronaviruses, <laughs> and small, medium, and large bumps. <laughs> kind of very loud now. <laughs> so the final effect they're gonna have is a settling effect. So they're back here practicing with an acetylene torch. The it's smoke. Torch now. Smoke effect with with the torch. Yeah. So. Okay, round two with a smaller torch. One up into my ceiling. Take three. Circular pattern try. Take ten. Three. Yeah, probably ten. goes on top it'll be really pretty day four of paint these two have been very hard at work so Jim is the car gonna be staying here we're just going home today dad Okay, so we got lots to update, lots to show. Over here, I can't show you this side because then you'll know what it's gonna look like. But I'm gonna show you this side. So, they decided when they came in this morning, or probably before this morning, Dad decided they needed one more thing. So yesterday, you saw that it got the bubbles and the spiders, and then, whoop, too much, can't see all that. And then the empty space on the door, Dad decided had to have something. So they decided to do fish scales. Very oh, intense. No. Oh, so, right there, push in. They sprayed this area with very heavy silver metal flake, and then they made the pattern. And now Dad has spent a lot of time airbrushing these little scales. Lots of tedious work. Jim's getting a nice fingernail job, paint job, and I'm going golf. Show the pattern. So the length of the door, lots of airbrush. We paint from the other side on our silver paint. So we're letting it dry. Dun, dun, dun. So row after row after row, that's what they're doing. How long would you say it takes to do one side of the door on these? Like this probably an hour. So an hour, okay. So over here is the finished side. Bam! So he does the full scale and then comes in and smokes it. So keep in mind, this isn't even the final product yet. So it's gonna have candy apple blue over it. Actually, it's gonna have a really heavy silver flake and then it's gonna have candy apple blue over it. So it's not even done. You're okay.
it's one of those things that every time we walk in, it looks good, and then it's like, add one more thing, and then it looks better, and then one more thing, and it looks better. So at some point, maybe it'd be too much, but that point has not happened yet. So every time something gets added, it just makes the car that much better. So I can't wait to see the blue on it, and then, well, the metal flake, and then the blue, and the clear, and then see it in the sun. It's gonna, wow. Okay, so it is many days later, probably three, what is today? Tuesday? Tuesday? Tuesday. So um, Jim went home, Jim and Kim went home, uh, so Dad could finish clearing it on Monday because Kim has work, well, working from home. So Kim was busy, so they went home, and then Dad cleared it, and then now they're, Jim is back to pick it up, and then he's going to take it home and wet sand it and buff it. So I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see it turned out really, really nice, and it's even going to get better when it gets all wet sanded and buffed and really shiny. So here it is. Bam! Look at how pretty it is. Look at this. So this has many coats of candy apple blue over it. So I didn't get the in-between process, but as you remember, that was the silver and then many, many coats of candy apple and we turned out with this. So keep in mind, it's still got the orange peel. It's not been wet sanded and buffed, as I said, but it's still really shiny and really nice for fresh paint. Look at that detail. So I love the marble, how that turned out. That is so pretty. Um, it just added something that was easy to do, well, relatively easy to do, that makes it look so intricate. And then you come up here and you've got the lace start to appear. So lots of candy apple lots of blue pearl heavy metallic in certain parts let's see i don't know if you can see it see the metallic the lights are really messing with it and then now getting to see the other components and everything with it just bam it looks so good i can't wait to see it in the sun so look at how all this turned out it's so pretty i love blue we are super um biased to blue as you can see almost everything in the shop i think is blue um the 55, PPC, Dad's Nova. I love blue, but look at how this turned out. So you've got your little bubbles and you've got the little spiders. And then in this panel where the fish scales are, um, it's got really, really extra heavy flake. So you get in there and see those details. So pretty. This really, I don't know how it'll pick up on the video, but this really looks 3D, it's crazy. And then come up here, we got the roof also with lace. Oh, that's so pretty. And then this will have a black leather insert piece over the top of that. So it just turned out so nice. Coming around. And this will have the wing and the parachute and all that, so there's not a lot going on right there. Look at that. Every time I see it, it just looks better and better. See, like I got to stand it from back. It's still, they're putting stuff on it so he can roll it out and put it in the um, in the trailer. So then like, just for note, all this will be painted black underneath and all that, but Jim's gonna do that at home. So dad was just doing the major paint and then the final details, Jim, Jim will finish that. So that's not gonna stay. And of course, everything's gonna be cleaned up and nice and clean. So it turned out incredible for what it looked like two years ago <laughs> when it was on its side of the track so um thankfully the car made a full recovery to better than before and jim's safe and now we have this oh my gosh it's so pretty i could say that like all day long because it's just looking at all the different colors i love how many different blues there are all the shading the detail it's pretty Okay, and that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're really happy with how the paint turned out. Kim and Jim are back home with the car now, and Jim is polishing away, getting ready for its debut on the track, whatever that may be. Uh, thanks, Corona. But <laughs> anyways, whenever that time comes, the car is going to shine so pretty in the sun. So as always, again, thank you for watching. Be happy, go fast, stay pretty. I will see you guys next time.